my breath. Working on a thing called a sports engine. What is it? What year is it? What year is it, Fred? 63. Not your age. Oh, I'm 57. They're 63. That's why I'm 54. We didn't ask what you were born. I know. You want to know what you're doing. For your information, I've already pulled the oil lines off and I pulled the covers off. I couldn't off. hear you, Fred. What did you say? What year was it? 1972. How do you know that, Alan? I had one. Bought it brand new. It looks like 76 right here. Close. Okay. <laughs> What is it? Not much different. What's it say? It says 3A54, I don't even know, like 76. H6? Oh, six? A six, there's a 6 at the end, so it's a 76. H6 six means 70s and 6. That's what I just said. Did I just say 76? That was the year of your bike, wasn't it? That's my bike. Mine's a Same 76. year. It's your bike, Fred. Not, this piece of crap ain't mine. Mine looks better than this. By hey, what was that? I missed that. What was it, Fred? This piece of crap is not like mine. Oh. Mine looks good. Oh, this looks, mine this looks like a brand new engine. You get a brand new Same engine. Same as my other engine looks like. You a brand realize new. that this is a brand new rebuilt motor here? Supposedly. No, they claim it. Look, look, at, the, look at the custom amount of JB weld on the back of that tranny case. We know that's brand new. Oh, my God. Did you see that, Alan? How nice that looks? Yeah. Well, in the frame, you'd have never noticed yeah. that. The next buyer would have never seen that. Do you have any air tools, Fred? Look at that. He's brought out the big stuff. Oh, God. Well, that sounds pretty... Uh... Where's your uh, tool container? Fred, did you just pull the motor up? Did you hear that pop? That's just a damn side cover coming loose. Do you want to know the correct way to take it apart without breaking all the hardware? You're supposed to take all that off. The... No. It's what? called you take off the outer bolts over here and you do this one here last because this one is holding them down. Oh. And then you go zip and it comes off straight up. That's what I'll do next. Unlike how you just did that one. I'll do that next. Because you thought you knew what the hell you were doing and you didn't know anything. I didn't say I knew what I did. I'm not saying, did I say Alan I knew what I did? Because I said, first thing I said was, how do you want me to take this apart? I, I think I heard say. something else. It's just a big old ass motor. I think I heard it. It was a piece of shit. Don't scratch that brand new chrome I'm throwing on that thing. And don't stick the oily parts inside of that bucket. See, there's oil inside the thing over here. Now, you see this thing right here? I can follow It might have been not under load condition. Yes. Where's the hammer, Fred? How can I'm you work on a Harley without a hammer? It's right there behind you. Now, how long ago did we set this thing up here, Alan? About hard four and a half minutes. Saw. Even though this feels really hard, too. Right? That's because that is the hard side, and that's the soft side you're using. Why is that? Did I miss one? I don't know. You're, you're doing the job. You want a pry bar? I hear it moving. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> we had success. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <gonna use? laughs> it's a hardy factory <coughs> tool. Look at this. All rebuilt. It's got brand new rock arms in it, Fred. Wonderful. Lovely. I knew you were happy. The, he the, the valves look brand new, too. Look. They're even the, the, except a little bit of rust here. They look all brand except new. Except for the rust, it looks brand new. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Got the loose news up here. Oh, we can take the. And I put these. What's the black paint? The fish rod's all about. There is some black paint on there. Why is somebody? Did you mark these? For... No. Again, we need a wire wheel. On. Why are they marked? 
We don't have wire wheels around here. No, somebody just was no. rattle cannon black paint on it. Oh, I don't wear, you, don't like wire wheels. you don't wear safety glasses. That's right. And he's doing a little. you got to take the spark plug. Where's yes, Fred, where's your spark plug removing tool? Right in the it's center of your cornea. Boy, you'd have a long time to think about that, wouldn't you? Put the safety shoes on. <laughs> they know we're working here in California. <laughs> <laughs> He's confused. Don't pick on him. Really, really, Alan? <laughs> Did you just say what I just think you just said? I say it to myself. What? You have to tell yourself every yeah, day. Every time. Tiny, tiny, lefty, Every Lucy? time, man. Are you serious? I thought he was a little pussy girl. <laughs> you freaking. Did you check your panties lately? Come on, man. Not that a chick couldn't figure out. Where's your wrench at? Where's Pretty your 12 enough. point socket at, bro? I'm going to have to go get it out of the toolbox. It's probably not back here. Is it going to get it No. I said 12 point. This is later than 72. It's 76. Yeah, that's right. I can see. 76. I see that, but that was, that's the same. Let's go get a socket that. You also need to get an inch and a quarter and an inch and a half socket while you're at it. What is this? Inch and a half right there. I already got it. There you go. Good job. Good. Where's your inch and a quarter, though? And that's a 716 12 point, right? 12 point. Half drive socket would be good. Half drive? Half drive. So, what do we do, Ella, while Fred's out chasing tools? Well, I was hoping you'd sell me a, uh, oh, a case of that oil. No, you can't have any oil. Baseball, huh? Yeah. You can also take the hoses off if you want. That's going to peak oil if you let that fall. That's why it's up in here. Fred's mumbling something himself. Do you have the Harley wrench for base bolts? I'm sure you it's in do. Your hand. This isn't this isn't the factory tool. The factory I know what the right factory here. tool looks like. It yeah, looks just like that tool in your hand. I think you know more than you need to try this, this, my friend. See what you think. Pull on this and you tell me why is that so galled up feeling? Because they're the wrong nuts. I don't like it, do you? I'm just, it's I'm just, well, it's coming out, but something's coming out. I just, you know, you can tell. I don't know why you would put those stupid acorn nuts on a base bolt. I wasn't trying to pull you away, it just, I didn't like that feel. You feel funny? Well, <laughs> when the threads come off like a spring, you see something not right. Unless you have a stash somewhere besides the top of the box, where is your 7 16th 12 point half inch socket? Half inch dry socket. Uh, He's got some kind of return in now. He's on got the top some of the box? goop on there. Well, no, somewhere. Probably. They're coming out now of the case. Here, Fred. You can take the Are you recording off. this? We haven't shut it off yet. You can take the oil off. I already took the oil. Rich is right now. You suppose it. You, you need to turn the music off now. By the way. <laughs> You know what? I find music too. I'm not convinced. Me. Damn, we don't want to get have to pay whoever. All these guys are dead. You can't ban them. I don't think that guy is dead. No, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's brain dead. I <laughs> take those acorn nuts and throw them as far as I could. Are the studs supposed to pull out of these? Or are the studs supposed to stay? I think the studs supposed to stay, isn't it? That's right back now. That ain't gonna come out. But as you lift the cylinder up, you can get yeah. more clearance on that. Clearance, Clarence? We need more clearance, Clarence? <laughs> I love the 
You see that wire there by your left There's index words? finger, that black wire? Everything's wrong, man. Like Where's the clippers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just cut that chain. Don't call me off. Shirley. Shirley, you must be mistaken. Yeah. yeah. I like that on you. I mean, are those two black guys that are talking guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, the Cleaver, Miss Cleaver. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, speak and jive. This is in the movie, by the way. It's not us being un insensitive. <laughs> they had a show. Did you watch that show they had about that movie? Like the fifth, like the 30th anniversary or something? No, I didn't. Was it funny? Oh, man. That was fucking crackle. <laughs> they got that the uh, the cockpit of that plane. Yeah. They have it in, uh, it's in somewhere in Hollywood in the studio. Yeah. Is the blow up doll still sitting in the pilot seat? I don't know. <laughs> it smokes, the blow up doll that yeah. smokes. Huh? Yeah, because that the, the woman was like on his lap. Yeah. And you know what? And... <laughs> living a dream, living a dream. How much more fun can we have? In one day. <coughs> How much more fun can you have in one day? One day. <coughs> you get to tear apart a Sportster engine. 1976 vintage. I don't know if you get the right name. It's not it's too cold to be painted. Too cold? Too poor to pay attention? That's me, man. Too poor to pay attention. Shop going on here? Yeah, we're doing Shit, it's still daylight out there. <laughs> Stripping his bad. You're just trying to make a big mess. Why don't you put a top one back in there so it doesn't fall on your face when you turn it? Don't use that to do it. We'll just strip the damn thing out. Oh, here. What is this? Hey, Ken, you don't want these cups to stand? Negative. No. We're going to dress them up with steel wool. Lean over. Are you going the right direction for us? No kidding. Really? <laughs> really? Lefty loosey, righty tighty? That doesn't fit. Up. That one doesn't fit. Why does that not fit? Because you got the wrong size tool. I think I got the wrong size tool. I think we're making a mess now. We yeah. love it. You want to solve the that? You didn't? You did. No, I didn't. My first Sportster. Job. Once you get that last bolt out of there before you can hit. The little one? Yes. Okay. I can do that. You can do that? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> you get that size right there. Lean her up there. Yep. Mr. Al. Hey, Al. Living the dream, Al. Well, not today. You got that Al, going to get wet in a minute. Al's. See that Al? Al's lawyer, Al's lawyer said you don't have permission to live the dream yet. See that Al over there getting wet thread? I'm getting wet. Oil on it. Yeah, that one. You didn't get any oil on it yet. Yeah. Okay. Is that everything? I don't know the cover fall off yet. No, not yet. It's about to fall off. Once you hold on to it before it hits me in a lap of fresh oil. Hold the cover. It's nothing holding the cover on, Fred. Nothing's holding the cover. This is holding the cover on. Why did that one have a washer on it? Go ahead. Made correctly. Just let us see. You don't have to hold it. I don't, want, drop the cover and you, I, don't ah! want, I don't want Fred <laughs> hollering at me. Hold it straight up. Just hold it vertically. It sucks when people let go of bikes and they drop on the cover. Yeah, that freaking... They oh, don't worry about it, man. It'll, it'll be all right. What'd you forget, Fred? Mm -hmm. I'd look in the front. Cause that seems to be where the cover's not coming off. Oh, yeah, I missed one. Hang oh, on. Maybe that's what happened. 
Pay attention, man. Get your rag, clean that. Did you get my tools dirty? Clean that, man. Damn. That's the first time it's ever had oil on it. Clean that. Be useful instead of standing around and painting pain in the ass. I brought the tool for taking off the heads. It's called a high output zip gun and a something. There you go. The cover's off. Oh, look at the cover's loose now, Fred. Hey, I wonder why that... Oh, it appears that we have oil on the... It made a mess. It made a mess. Now that gasket might be reusable. Now, if you pour the oil into the pan, it stays in the pan. Really? Yeah, but you're dumping it on the ground over there, so... Can you really... Why don't you pour it into the pan, Fred? Well, why don't you hold this first? Then? Why don't you go like that? I was holding it up so it wouldn't get oil on the bottom of it, so I didn't have to wipe it off, but that's okay. How's that? Perfect, Fred. <laughs> you can blame it on Tourette. Tourette. Yeah. Okay, look yeah. Did you get the right socket this time? I have a tool in my hand that doesn't do The badass zip gun, not the puss. No, I didn't get the good one. I got the one I had. I'm gonna go hang this gasket back up on the neck for the next unsuspecting customer. Okay. Now I see it's Keiko's Indian, so I'm gonna reuse everything we can reuse. Are you calling me cheap? Yes. Just, well, just a little. Why don't you pull the bolts out, Fred? What? Don't tell lies. What the hell? It's a real bad here, a gasket. Don't be telling lies. Where's your owner's place, stupid ass? Hey, what's going on? Pretty good. Where's your Ellen? You Where's your Ellen? That one? I don't know if that'll work. You can screw it up. You guys getting to the park quicker than you stole it? Okay, hold on to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of gasket there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Let's get the part quicker. I hope not. This actually is a theft recovery motor. Pardon me, is it? It is a theft recovery motor, yes. The guy put the bike together, he ran in the driveway for five minutes, went to get his jacket, and he came back, the bike was gone. My first shovel I ever bought was, uh, I bought it from a buddy. Oh, I called him Cuz because he was my buddy's cousin. Here, Cuz. And his uh, ex wife's brother stole the damn thing. There. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that looks. It looks like it ran five minutes and they parked it. Right. Like it's it's a little, your elbow out of the way. You're in the way. A little the rich. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> <coughs> These things look pretty damn good. Valves are sunk a little bit. Well, we can fix that problem. It appears to be unported, Fred. There's plenty of opportunity for you to screw it up or fix it. Excuse me. Um, that's not bad. Yeah. 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 You're right. We need some tuning. Here, we're gonna reuse these maybe. It's Tetro's bike. It'll have to be tuned up. Some more. There. Can we reuse that? Some more air flow. Do we want to save that copper and recycle? It appears that we are 50 over already. That's pretty good. Why don't you pull the stud out of the case there, Alan? Uh, Gino and I. That was a collective effort. Collective effort, huh? Yes, sir. It's pretty good. good. This is fun now. We get to strip an engine. How often do we strip engines? All the time. Hey, quit making a mess. So what you're saying is you didn't like the feel of the stud coming out of the case because they put red Loctite on the nut? On the first half a turn. That's because that they Gino's put red fault. Loctite on the nut. That's Gino's fault, right Gino? At least we know the nut's not coming loose, but the stud's coming out of the case. Slows down the process a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, my, my horn. Yeah, here. No longer covered, chrome covered horn. Uh, that was a genuine Harley horn. See, it's got a heart wing limb on it. Mm -hmm. I can nest two cents for that now. Put that on gag bay? I could try. How much can I get for that horn on gag bay? Hey, hell, I don't know. I got a buddy that sells all kinds of antique shit on there. That, he puts it on it for 75 cents and they stop bidding on it when, well, it, when it goes to. He puts up a dollar literally, I think, for a buck 40. And the guy bid 150 bucks and he asked what the hell it was. He says, Well, that was an antique tool for doing something on a, 
on one of the Harleys or something. He said, really? That's my ex-wife, right? No idea. Nobody here in town could tell me what it was. Somebody, 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 knew somebody recognized it. Somebody recognized it. Something out of the 30s or oh, something wow. the guys used to do on the throttle cable or no. something. To handle. So he just stuck it on there. Now they know put a picture on it and it... It sat there and this thing really, it, it went to like 12 bucks, 20 bucks, and a few more hours it went to 120 and it went to 140. He says, I guess I ought to sell it. And the guy says, I would have gave you five, six hundred bucks for it. Oh, oh my God. Well, obviously it was two people bidding because it doesn't look like you got busy. Yeah. Oh, damn, now my back hurts now. We got to pick it up. That'll straighten it out. <laughs> I think so, we had a. I tried that every now and then, it don't work. <laughs> We tried to kickstart it and it didn't help either. Keenan, clarify for the video there, what's the deal with that Loctite? So we Loctite at the basement to the studs, so now the nuts come on, the nuts uh, not coming out, the studs right, coming well, out of the case. What's the proper Loctite for the application? None. 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 That tighten, was the answer to the tighten question. It, tighten the damn thing down, leave it alone. Uh, all right. That's, I just... So now we're going to have to take the studs and right. heat them up to get the nuts off. Right. Then we're going to have to lock tight the studs into the case. Most right. most things that if they've got 55 to 70 percent of the threads mm -hmm. and you torque it up and lubricate everything and go right to the torque, right, it should never really come never loose. Never come out. Yep. Well, I'm just thinking this guy obviously thought he was doing right by lock tight nuts. He obviously yep. didn't know what he was he doing. He thought. <laughs> right. He thought. That's all. I mean, he was trying. And he probably that, put what blue on it. Red. <laughs> red. 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 Yeah. He put red, which is the strongest. Blue would have probably come off already, because every stud is coming out. He put blue, red. Did you see that bore finish on this over here, Tom? No, I didn't pay any attention to it. Real cute, is it? Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, there you go. Do you think they even honed it? I've heard of people trying to do this shit on a lathe and they don't. They get in there with some memory paper and come back and forth. I don't something. think it's so it's even been honed. It looks like it's just run on a raw mm -hmm. bore finish. That's what it looks to me like. Boring finish? Mm -hmm. That is a rough finish. This stuff's coming up too, by the way. They're all coming up. One of my buddies when I was a kid, he says, yeah, the rural engineer said he's, you know, he's going to bore my cylinder for me. I said, you know, and so I was always taught by my dad. And I just, well, what kind of hone did he have to get in there? I said, because we don't have homes small enough to get in there to do a little inch and a half bore. He said, oh, no, they didn't hone it. They just chucked it up in the lathe and used the boring bar, spun it through there. And I said, well, how's it running? He said, not real good. I said, yeah. <laughs> not real good. That could be a clue, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a big clue there. It's not running right. Yep, tore the power. rings all up and everything, tore the piston up. <laughs> no power? Yeah, you put it to a face plate, that's what the guy did, mm -hmm. and bored it. He was a big aircraft engineer at Roar, he was a neighbor, and he said, there ain't no reason you gotta go down to Sunny and pay 30 bucks to get that thing bored. Hell, we'll do it right here in my garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so I, gotta, I gotta do a sleeve uh, installer tool, too. Look at the finish on that cylinder. Can you hear it over the fire engine? You admire the work, huh? That's that's a custom job. Now we know why the, the heads look like they're all oil washed. Yeah. <laughs> Show them the head. I saw it when you tore it off. That's what I say. It's passing a bunch of oil. Yeah. Yeah. Pass oil and and I bet you that's what the, some Honyak did, or, or the guy had somebody bore the cylinders, and the guy says, "I want to no, just bore them." Yeah. You know. It's a fresh rebuild, right, Pete? Yep, fresh. Fresh, top of the line, professional professional rebuild. Who did hey, this one actually came off without the stuff? Well, it came out of alcohol, so I know. Forget hmm. line, how many guys could do sports in alcohol? <laughs> yeah, it used to be David Osmond, but Osmond wouldn't do none of that shit. No, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. He used to be pretty sharp. I understand he's getting a little, a little forgetful now. But. Yeah. Yeah, but he still knows what he's doing. Hopefully. What are you doing over there? I'm working on another stud. You got the other one for you? Yeah, I got this one off. That one's all the way at the top. I'm working on them. Hang on. Tom, you getting my little hammer over there for me? Mm-hmm. Little one, huh? Yeah. Not quite that little. Yeah, we're going back to it. The rubber mount? Yes. Yeah. You want a real one when you get fed up with that? Yeah, keep your finger. Hey! Ouch! 
Did you get the nuts off this one yet? I'm getting it. This one's loose. That one's just that one's just got loose. Okay, it's loose here now. You know, I already started like that. Relax, hang on. <laughs> he's in a hurry. You know, he's like not in a hurry. What happened you? You know what's wrong with this? Start I know that we were there. gonna start that. We got people lining up to listen. To you that. know what's wrong with this fucking video? It's boring. <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing fine. You need to move all this shit in the alley underneath one of them pepper trees. Oh. <laughs> I already cleared the North 40 off. Put a bunch of beer cans around, laying on the floor, you know. <laughs> Some garbage cans, hey, a little bottle of tequila. Hey, I'm sober today, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing pretty good. Sober for a week now. Huh? I'm on a wagon. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm on two weeks now. He's been on the wagon for two weeks. I'm on the wagon. Did you quit drinking, Frank? Yeah, two weeks. I don't believe you. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. I appreciate that thought. In I my, had a uh, margarita for breakfast. I was, was going to take up the smoke. <laughs> didn't, do me any, didn't do me any good either. I'm just curious if you did. I'm glad. Some guy, some guy from work is like, hey, did you go through DTs? I'm like, dude, I wasn't that freaking much of an alcoholic. I just drank in the evening, you know. I could still be an alcoholic, but I just like, you know. I'm living a dream. What's up? You know, I'm freaking getting close. Nah. <laughs> what did you say, you know? I was going to take the slack for you. Yeah, that's it. Brad, are you a beer drinker or are you a whiskey man? Oh, I'm a vodka and whiskey. Okay, there you go. I like vodka, I like whiskey. I don't drink beer because... The Canadian Club or JD or something? Or oh, no, it's uh, uh, JD and then... No, uh, Beam. No, J Jim Beam. JD and, and then some premium shit. Man. I'm getting old. i got to buy that premium stuff. Right? The premium yeah. shit would be, you know, like... Um, B.O. B.O.? Yeah. Alcohol no. is alcohol. No, no. B.O., man. B.O. No. B.O. No, not B.O. I don't drink that Canadian blended crap, man. No. I ain't no freaking Canadian I lover. I drink a little bit of that. Seagram 7. Crap, Years ago. I do drink Crown. Don't know more. I like if crumbs. I drink any whiskey, it's usually a Jack and a Cranberry or something. Yeah, Jack. I got some moonshine, too. I got some blueberry moonshine. Woo. Take one shot of that, man. If we can clear your sinuses. <laughs> yeah. When does the Montana stuff get down to the bottom of your feet? It, it, yeah. Your ears totally on the fungus. <laughs> that, yeah. that, first, that first warm feeling is like, woo -hoo -hoo. Got that moonshine going on. Floaties. I'll drink a beer on a hot day. Yeah, that that tastes good sometimes, but anymore I still hardly drink at all. Almost there. I can't I can't use that one. It's can't counterproductive. Use it. it doesn't doesn't add anything. Alan, give me some Allen's. Alan, get some Allen's. Allen, what? Uh, yeah, five six. A quarter inch Allen. Quarter inch Allen, Allen. Which one do you like? The one that fits the hole. Yeah, Alan, an Alan from Alan. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to go home and turn some more horseshoe in the ice cream. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, you're in it. All right, see you later. Have a shot for me. Yeah. None of that Canadian it's, crap, though. It's cold. I ain't going to have That'd a be shot. American made or more work. Yeah. <laughs> American made or nothing, man. I'm working on it. Stop talking about it. Right, See, now I caught a buzz just talking about it. You guys have a good day. And yeah. Thank you. See you later. Alan, Gino. We are living a dream here, man. All right. Taking part Harleys. There you go. Yeah. How much better can it get? Who's got to put them back together, though? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Alan's, Alan's in a day. I don't man. feel too good. I don't see. I, yeah. I'm not really feeling too good. Not feeling well? You know. There's a six volt gauge. I moved it on the charger. Why is something stuck here? Grab a generator, Fred. Grab the generator? I'm trying to do two things at once. Well, this is showing charge, Keenan. Okay, so put it up. Lift up and separate. Okay. There you go. You're a little bit. Oh. We're almost done here. Try to get some power. Got some long-winded studs here. I don't even have any power yet.
Tall studs. Okay, we're out. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that how do you, something? Isn't how, are you, how are you going to get the studs? He's got to put heat. <laughs> and that's why I said, half the turn, I thought, I'm not going any farther on this. Right here. What a freaking pain in the... All right, what's next? Allen wrench. Take a more stuff. Right. Right yeah, pull that one out, bro. That's not coming out. Why not? I need a little help. Can you help? See if I need a little help. I need a little help with that. With the brake bar. I'll put the charger away. Need a little help. These T handles don't. This paint T handle doesn't work. Yeah, a little more pressure to get off of here. That means it's taken. We don't know if we take it, but it's, it's trying to take it. Well, that other one shocked it. That was. Good. Yeah. Okay. We'll what's next? With it. This time. Yeah. Pull the ignition cover off. Ignition 